Okay, it's time to review 10 quick tips to hosting a great live stream. If you've been following along in this Back to Basics live streaming course, you already know everything you need to live stream. You know about cameras, software, social media networks, and audience engagement ideas. Now, we'd like to cover some of the most important tips the stream geeks have learned about live streaming over the past couple of years. Number one, content is king. When you think about hosting a live stream, consider the topic you will cover and the ways you will deliver that valuable information. Keep it fun and interesting for viewers. Spend time creating an outline and pair that outline with visual assets that will bring your ideas to life. Number two, branding your show. The great thing about a live stream is that you can create fun and engaging video content on a regular basis without too much hassle once it's all set up. Take some time in the beginning to brand your show. This includes lower thirds, logo placements, social media titles, and intro videos. Getting your branding right from the beginning will make all of your content look better and your entire catalog of videos will perform better online. Number three, get comfortable on camera. If you're gonna be on camera, get comfortable with it. If you're a producer, then help your talent feel comfortable. We like to play pump up music before our live streams. I even like to jump up and down and stretch a little. Get psyched up because your audience will feel the good energy. Enjoying this video? Hit that like button to let us know. You rock. Number four, create a space. Create a space for your live streams. At the Stream Geeks, we've built multiple studios and they create the inspiration we pull from for each show. Yes, you wanna have good lighting in this space, cameras and microphone, but add a style that fits your branding because it will make a big difference. Number five, be creative. Being creative with live streaming doesn't have to involve technology, but of course it can. Be creative with what you put on camera. Zoom into details. Show your audience a behind the scenes view. Push the limits and know it's okay to make mistakes and show that part of yourself that isn't 100% business. Be the real you. Number six, schedule your live streams. Scheduling your live streams will show your audience a countdown timer on social media. In many cases, Facebook and YouTube will notify your followers of your live stream via the countdown. Scheduling your live stream allows you to get the link to your live stream in advance and share it out. Always schedule important live streams because it helps gather your audience all in one place. Number seven, networking. As you build your online audience, consider networking with other professionals in your industry. Check out what other people are doing and see if they perhaps might be a good guest for your show. Connect with your viewers on social media and follow them back. If they are interested in your live show, maybe they can provide you with advice or valuable feedback. Number eight, post-production. Remember that live streaming is just one tool in the overall wheelhouse. Think about taking the best parts of your live stream and creating a shorter, more consumable version for social media. Sometimes after a live stream, we will quickly record a live stream recap. This is a great way to deliver the best gems for your live stream in a shorter segment. You can also create short video clips that you can play inside of your live stream. Still watching this video? Hit that subscribe button to get notified of new videos we have coming up. Also, comment below if you have an idea you'd like us to cover in an upcoming video. Number nine, social listening. We have found that our audience will give us the best ideas for new content. Once you gather up a large enough audience, you can listen to the comments and respond with new video content and live stream ideas. Number 10, have fun. Laughter is contagious and entertainment thrives on positive energy. Remember to inject some fun into your live streams whenever possible. Well, that's it for this Back to Basics video. Remember that you can download the complete Back to Basics live streaming guide at streamgeeks.us slash basics. Have another tip you want to share? Let us know in the comments below.